So what's caused this slump, a 40% drop? What are the factors there? Good morning, Rosie. Well, remember that transitional agreement between the UK and the continent of Europe came to an abrupt end on the 31st of December, with that decision being clinched on Christmas Eve when most people were engaged in Christmas celebrations and holidays. So it meant that on the 1st of January, when traders went back to work and trade resumed, it meant that the UK was no longer in the customs union. Of course, that came with a lot more red tape, red tape that perhaps the United Kingdom were not fully prepared for. And we understand that the British government then did to start to prepare webinars to try and make sure that companies and manufacturers could get prepared. But that information people have been telling us came too late and was just too complicated. In some instance, companies had to fill out up to 250 different documents in order to get products out from the UK over to the continent. And that's why we're seeing this data come out this morning, Rosie. And that's why we're also seeing worrying data coming out of Make UK. That is, of course, the, rep the organisation that represents manufacturers in the United Kingdom. And they say that three out of four of their companies have been experiencing delays in the first three months of the year. And also that half of their companies have experienced increased costs. And they're asking the UK government for help, for urgent help. They say they need help with these custom declarations and they need more staff who understand exactly what the job that they have to do is exactly. Also, Maeve, the UK have now decided to further postpone full border checks on EU imports. Why have they decided to do that? Presumably hasn't gone down very well in Brussels. Well, they argue that this is, of course, down to COVID challenges, Rosie, but many here in Brussels would argue that it means that they just were not ready for Brexit, despite the many warnings coming from all the capitals around the EU and the many warnings as well coming from Michel Barnier that things would look a little bit different after the transitional agreement came to an end. Some people have been saying that this is the UK's way of taking back control without really taking back control. Many saying that this is embarrassing, that the United Kingdom did have a long time to prepare for the end of that transitional agreement but perhaps didn't tell the people or businesses of course exactly what this would mean because they wanted of course to sell Brexit as something that would have a very positive impact. So this news of course will come firstly as a sigh of relief for business because it would mean that they'll be able to restock their shelves a little bit easier, they'll be able to get their car parts from the continent that little bit easier but the British Chamber of Commerce has warned that this six month period should just be a temporary measure that some companies in the UK are experiencing existential problems and these issues need to be ironed out as soon as possible.